In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the steel plate shear wall with partial connection in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model is composed of beam, column, plate, and hinge. In this question, the beam and column have been connected together by hinges. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the shear wall and following that, its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this question, the plates will be connected to the beam and column only in the areas having been marked out with red color and you can observe clearly the areas where the plate has been connected to the beam and column in this picture. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In these pictures, the results obtained from the Abacus software can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental and Numerical Investigation of Novel Partially Connected Steel Plate Shear Walls. In this picture, the laboratory sample can be observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I'll click on create part. I intend to create a geometry shape of plate. Here I select 3D, deformable, shell and plana. Enter approximate size equal to 2000 and continue. I'll draw a square. As explained in the article, the length and width of plate is equal to 1002 millimeters. Done. In this table, you can observe the properties of plates. Here, yield stress is equal to 223 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 414 megapascal. As explained in the article, plastic strain is equal to 0 
As you observe here, the beam and column has been connected together by hinges and you, here you can observe rotation of the hinges clearly. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the steel shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I will select uh, all reaction forces. And OK. Here I select U3 and click on Save As. I click on Create XY Data, then select Operate on XY Data and continue. Here I select Combine. First select U3, then Total Force and click on Save As. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software. I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton.
Here, the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are close to those mentioned in the article.